Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is Ange and I'm so glad you're here. Tonight we're going to uh, see how much rollover we have, do our penny challenge, and then stuff our main binder. Um, we are still doing challenges for the other binders. That may change in March, but for February that's what we're doing. All right. Let's get started. Let's see how much change we have. Let's see, 25, 50, 75, 1, 25, 50, 75, $2, $210, $220, $230, $240, $250, $260, $270, $280, $290, $3, $305, $678, $9, $10, $11, $311. $3, $11. And... Here's our change thing. Um, is this the one we've been coming with? So our biggest one is 308. So if I do that, then we would have three cents left over, which is open. We gotta do that. We are almost done with this row. We have one more in this row for 307. And then once we get to here, we're done with the $3 amount. So progress is being made. That was not the right color. That bums me out. It's not very light in here tonight. All right. Well, it's close. All right. And then I'm going to pick a different color up here for this three cents. All right. So we colored in two again this week. Awesome. All right. We'll put our change in the... Pineapple, we have filled up one jar. We're working on filling up this jar, and I guess we'll probably fill up another one before we finish this challenge. But when we finish, we'll have over $600 in change. So fun. All right, there we go. All right, and I'm going to just put that to the side. Let's see what we have in our envelopes. In the grocery, we have... 15, 16, 17, 18. So I did go in to the grocery store after Valentine's Day and get a couple bags of half off chocolate for my work <laughs> and possibly a monster. So that's what I spent that on. Miscellaneous is empty because I went to the car wash. Kids is empty because, you know, kids and they had a four day weekend this week from school. Eat Out has one two three and four which for us is good and spending has ten so we stopped late otherwise i have a feeling these would be even more empty than they already are okay i'm gonna set those there let's do our dollar bills first so we have a g an l an f a d an l a D and an L, as usual, L's. So no A's or C's or J's for that binder. And let's see, so we have D first. So we have two D's, that one has a ways to go. Then we have F, okay. And then we have G, that one is about halfway done. And then L's, we have just over half. And I'll color those in later, like I did last week. And we will keep saving. Eventually, one of these is going to have to get close. I think B's. B's is close. We need two more. D's is not close at all. Let's see. E's. We need one more E to finish that one. Let's see. That's about it. K's, maybe. So, hopefully next week we get more. All right, and then we're going to get this binder that Jan Brown made me. And we're in February right now. Isn't that envelope just beautiful? All right, so we have, I don't even know what we have. We have $25. So let's see what's left on our challenge here. We have $5 left, so we'll do five. And we'll for sure finish February. Which is good. I do not know what these equal to. And I don't want to know because I want it to be a surprise at the end of the year when I empty this binder out. So that's awesome. All right, so I'm adding five here. All right, 
And then we'll see, we have $20 left. So let's see what we have here in our angel numbers that we're working on. All right, we have, all right, we have, I'm gonna go, oh, that's the wrong color. Hopefully you guys are still in, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and color the 20 because I like to get the bigger ones out of the way. And we'll put this 20 in here and we'll just keep progressing on this, these envelopes at the same time. And then we will see at the end of the year how much money we have in this binder. Last year I was pleasantly surprised with how much we had in here. So we'll see what this year brings. Hopefully it brings abundant gains, right? Hopefully that's dry. And there's that. So that's it for the rollover. And then we're just going to do our regular stuffing now. So I have 100 in prop. I have $100 in my um, SoFi account that needs to be assigned somewhere. So that's what this is. And then 200 total, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 80, 680, 90, 700, 710, 720. 730, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So 748. And we're just going to stuff this and we're, it's going to be a quick video. I will do my other um, sinking fund binder challenges in a different video. So we're just going to get started. All right, HOA gets 20. And if you're new here, I have two HOAs, one that gets pulled annually and one that gets pulled quarterly. This is for the quarterly. The annual's already been paid. We have 50, 70, 90, 110, and 120 in here. And we pay $200 each quarter. All right, car insurance is going to get this prop 100 again. So now we have, oh, I got to mark it. Otherwise, I'll forget to change it over when we're done. All right, so now car insurance has 1,000, 1, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 in prop, 1,600 in prop, 1,750. 1,750 in car insurance, and I paid it in full in November, so this is saving for next November. And I think we need around $5,000. All right, sports is getting 250, so one... 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, and this is probably our biggest expense right now is sports for our kids. And although I think it's insanely expensive, it's so worth it in my mind. So we're just going to keep putting money towards it every week. And right now we have 1500 in the high yield. 16, 17, 18, 19, 2000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 21, 20, 40, 60, 80, 22, 20, 40, 60, 80, 23, 23, 20, 40, 50, and 60. 23, 60. I'm going to take these two tens and put them there and get this 20 because I did have to go to ATM. I forgot the banks were closed today, so I got out of work and I ran straight to the bank only to realize they were closed. So. I don't have as much change. All right, subscriptions is getting 15. And so there's 10. And I did just re-up my Costco membership, so that has to come out. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. Oh, did I already take it out? I gotta look in my book. 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 255, 56, 57, and 58, 258, but I do think there's some coming out of there, even if it's not the Costco. All right, tolls is getting five. I do not think I've used any tolls lately. 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 258, and if this gets up to 300, I will consider it fully funded. Land payment is getting 10 as usual, and let's see. I'm going to put these two fives in and take the 20. A little mini condensing as we go. And it has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 in the high yield, which is the 2023 payment. 
And now 550, 570, 580, 590, 1, 2, and 3. 593. And we will just keep that going. Once we hit another 100, I'll put that in the high yield. All right, union dues, I did finally pay. Um, so right now it has six and it's getting eight. So five, six, seven, eight. And we're at five, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And we don't have another one until next month. So that is just fine. Car registration is getting the normal 40. This is for all of our cars to license plate, all of the cars, boats, campers, all the stuff. All right, so $40. And now we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, and 15. And these are each worth 50. So one, two, three, oh, we're gonna color another one. And um, we did just get a tag in the mail for one of the cars. I haven't even looked at it. I just saw the card. I recognize the card. So some of this will definitely be coming out of here soon to cover that, but we will still keep saving. So that one is doing well. And then property taxes is getting the normal 100. This does have to be paid by, if we pay it in full, we have to pay um, by the end of next month. If we only want to do one payment and then pay the other one, we can pay it by this month and then the other in April. And I was just going to pay it in full because it'll be done. But then part of me wants to wait and get that interest for an extra month on the half. Either way, I'm waiting until the last minute to pay so I can get the interest, but I'm still trying to figure it out. Anyway, it gets 100, 20, 40, 60, 81. I'm just scared I'm gonna forget, and sometimes I just like to check it off so it's out of my brain because my brain is too full already. So chances are I'm just gonna pay it, and I know I'll probably lose some interest, but at the same time, I won't end up paying it late and paying a late fee, and sometimes that is worth its weight in gold, you know? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 in the high yield. 31, 32, 33, 34 in the high yield, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 4,000, 41, 20, 40, 60, 80, 42, 20, 40, 60, 80, 43, 20, 40, 60, 80, 43, 80, 43, 90, 43, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 40, 4, so we need 42 more dollars and this will be fully funded for this year. So next week this will be fully funded and by then I have to make a decision. If I'm going to do half, I have to pay half. If I'm going to do full, I can wait till next month, which is most likely what I'm going to do because it's only one month earlier and it'll be done and check. <laughs> and we can already, okay. And then homeowners is also getting 100 so 20, 40, 60, 81. I just realized I didn't do my envelopes yet. Okay. Darn, 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 darn. Okay, so now homeowners has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 1,500 in the high yield. 20, 40, 60, 80, 16. 20, 40, 60, 80, 17. 20, 40, 60, 80, 18. 20, 40, 60, 80, 18, 80. And these are, I paid these in November for the whole year and it'll be due again in November. And I believe we need about $5,000. That seems to be the common number for everything these days. But that's exciting that we are getting so close on some of those other ones. All right, I forgot to do my envelopes, so let's do it. So eating out gets 50. I do think I'm gonna have to raise this because some of the places we go, it's more than $50 feeding two teenage boys, especially now that Jake is feeling better again. Grocery is getting 25. I may lower grocery and raise eating out is maybe what will happen. Kids is getting 10 and the rest are getting ones because I did this backwards, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five for miscellaneous. And then 10 in spending. I love filling my envelopes up and it hasn't been that long, but it still feels good. Oh, I need that B buck in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I need that E buck in there. Oh, should I steal those so I can finish? Oh, well, 
I just, you know what? I can't spend them and then I can put them in there, right? That's gonna be my motivation to not spend. Yes, perfect. All right, guys, I know it's a quick video today, but I just wanna get this stuff and because I was already late last week on this. And I will see you um, in a couple days to do my savings challenges for the other sinking funds. But I hope you guys have a great week. I'm so excited. It's supposed to be 50s and 60s here this week. So I'm hoping I can clean out the inside of my car. And I'm hoping to wash the rugs and let them dry. Like I have plans for this weather. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.